Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about Idahoan gun culture. Just to give people a better understanding of where I'm coming from with regards to my firearms related videos and especially my videos on homemade guns. You know, I know a while back there was kind of a big stir or scare on YouTube about uh, firearms related content allegedly being censored. I think that's all pretty much blown over. Uh, I know I never had any trouble with it. I don't expect to have any trouble with it. But maybe making this video to clarify where I'm coming from will help to ward off any possible concerns before they ever even arise. Now, there's really two sides to Idahoan gun culture. On the one hand, we do believe rather strongly in a man's sacred right to keep and bear arms and to defend himself, his family, and his country as needed. But on the other hand, I would say the vast majority of firearms usage in Idaho really has nothing to do with self-defense or even with training for self-defense. Rather, I would say the majority of firearms usage in Idaho is for purely recreational purposes. And that could be through hunting, that could be through participation in the competitive shooting sports, of which there are myriad varieties, um, or it could be in creative endeavors like firearms construction and customization. And that is the venue that I gravitate towards the most. Um, I may be a little bit unique in that I tend to build more stuff from scratch than most people probably do, but philosophically I don't see a lot of difference between me building a single shot pistol from raw materials versus my neighbor building an AR-15 from factory made components. And tangential to this conversation, what is a weapon anyway? Isn't it basically anything that is used to inflict harm, either as an act of aggression or as part of defensive measures? I have here a hammer and a handgun. Which of these is a weapon? Well, depends on how they're used. Either of them could be a weapon. You know, a, a sharp blow dealt with this hammer to a person's cranium would certainly have the capacity to inflict life-threatening harm, so the hammer certainly could be used as a weapon. But if it's just being used as part of a construction project, then it's not necessarily a weapon at all. Similarly, uh, someone with the training and the intent uh, to use this handgun as a weapon could do so, uh, provided they have some ammunition. This would make a pretty lousy weapon if you don't have any ammunition. But, if this is only being used as a tool for recreational target practice or competitive target shooting, then, philosophically at least, this handgun is no more a weapon than something like a baseball bat or a golf club. And so, when I post a video about building a homemade gun, I'm not out to educate the world on how to build weapons. I'm just showing you what I do for fun. Because recreational shooting and firearms customization or even construction are culturally accepted forms of recreation here in Idaho. Uh, no different than playing sports or participating in some venue of liberal arts. So hopefully this serves to clarify where I'm coming from with regards to my homemade gun videos. Uh, but before I close, I'd like to bring up three specific allegations that I sometimes hear on this subject. And I'd like to discuss them in light of what I've said about uh, customization and use of firearms in a recreational capacity. Now, I'm going to phrase these three allegations in terms of questions. So the first question is, is it dangerous? Well, my answer to that would be, is there anything that isn't dangerous? I mean, 
in principle, you can get hurt doing just about anything. Um, likening this to other forms of recreation, I mean, how many people get hurt playing soccer or basketball or any of the other, you know, widely televised sports? Um, I'll bet if you looked at professional football players as a whole versus professional gunsmiths as a whole, gunsmiths sustain a lot less and a lot less severe injuries. So, yes, there are hazards involved in making guns. Most of them are the same hazards that are involved in making anything else in a machine shop. I mean, you, know, you need to know what you're doing around heavy machinery in order to use it safely. Um, you know, there's a few additional precautions uh, when it comes to things like proof testing barrels that you need to be aware of if you're going to do the kind of things that I do with uh, construction of firearms. But is it any more dangerous than any other commonly accepted form of recreation? I don't think so. Second question would be, is it offensive? Well, that is a very subjective question. In principle, almost anything could be offensive to someone somewhere. Uh, but once again, let's compare gun building to other, perhaps more globally accepted forms of recreation. Uh, perhaps I get offended by somebody else's infatuation with soccer, or in a sports-related video, perhaps I'm offended by the attire, or lack thereof, of their cheerleading squad. Uh, maybe I'm offended by certain genres of music, or certain movements in art. You know, we all have a right to our individual preferences with regards to these forms of recreation and creative expression. And so, in the form that I practice it, I don't see any objective basis to consider customization and construction of firearms to be any more offensive than soccer or Vincent Van Gogh's paintings. The third question would be, does it promote violence? Well, once again, let's compare this to other forms of recreation. Do sports promote violence? Actually, they kind of do. I mean, you think about a football game, for example. You know, you put two teams on a field, give them an arbitrary objective that they can only accomplish by overpowering the other, give them some guidelines for exactly how much violence they're allowed to do to one another, and let them have at it. And then, of course, you have the fans of the respective teams who are also strongly polarized uh, against each other, which in some cases can lead to outbreaks of actual violence between fans. In most cases, probably doesn't get that far, but you still have this element of controversy or conflict between two opposing uh, teams and two opposing regions or whatever the delineation between the team's supporters is. Now, you look at my home building of firearms, on the other hand, and I'm not doing violence to anybody in any measure. Uh, I'm not polarizing teams or fan bases against each other. I'm not even really competing with anyone. I mean, if you can call it competition, I guess I'm sort of competing with myself to, you know, outdo my last project, to, to do better than what I have done in the past. You know, I'm challenging myself to take the tools that I have available and make things that work. And so if inciting violence is a criteria for being controversial or getting banned from YouTube, then I would think that any kind of sports-related videos would be far more controversial than any of the gunsmithing videos that you may find on this channel. And so my point is that recreational customization and construction of firearms, such as you may see on this channel, is not only perfectly legal here in Idaho, but it is a culturally accepted form of recreation and perhaps creative expression in some sense. 
And so, if you're viewing these videos from some foreign clime where that might not be the case, I would encourage you to look upon my videos not as some kind of tutorial in building weaponry, but rather as a window onto Idahoan culture. And while I'm at it, let me point out that the videos that I post on firearms um, construction and customization are intended to be more inspirational than tutorial. And, and what I mean by that is that my intent is not to provide enough detail uh, that a person with no past experience can come along and you know, build a gun from scratch just by seeing my video. Um, if nothing else, putting that kind of detail into a video just isn't realistic in terms of uh, the time it would take to do on my part. But rather, my intent is simply to show people what I'm doing, to showcase my own work, uh, and then if people who have similar skills, similar experience, want to draw inspiration from what they see me doing, that's great. So again, hopefully this video heads off any controversy about my videos before it even gets started. Uh, and with that, I need to get back out to the shop and finish machining some rifling buttons. So, until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.